first video we discussed a data structure definition and the different types of data structures in this video we will discuss linear data structures what is linear data structure linear data structure means the collection of elements which are stored in linear manner which are stored in linear manner examples of linear data structure are one is arrays then stacks queues linker list so first example for linear data structure is arrays what is an array what is an array array means collection of homogeneous data elements collection of homogeneous homogeneous is nothing but similar similar that means the same type of data similar or same type of data same type of data what does it mean for example this is an array for example this is an array some elements we can store like this 0 1 2 3 4 for example array size equal to 5 now the elements present here are 8 7 4 3 9 see in this array all the elements are of data type integer you can't store like one number is integer another number is like a character another number is like a float like that you can't store so all data elements should be of same data type then it is called as an array in an array also we can perform the operations like insertion deletion and search so the elements in an array we will store in the manner of linear fashion so that's why arrays is under linear data structure now coming to another linear data structure is stack data structure stack data structure it is also called as last in first out it is also called as last in first out data structure what does it mean what is meant by last in first out data structure for example consider a lift so lift generally in a five stair building or hundred stair building so now lift almost full one last person entered into the lift so who will come out the last person so persons will enter like this now last person will stand here first person will stand here first entered persons next entered persons will stand here next entered persons will stand here okay so last who entered into the the lift last in last lane so these persons okay these persons were entered lastly so these will come first so that's why here it is last in first out or otherwise for example books are placed a pile of books are placed like this like this now if you can if you store the books like this then this is the last inserted book so then which book we can take first this last inserted element only so or the last inserted book we can take first so this is also another example for stack data structure last in first out data structure for example bus is there for example bus is there so so in the bus almost full so last and third person is standing here then so the who will come out first this last entered person will come out first so this is another example so these are some daily life examples where stack is used so last in first out data structure now what are the operations performed on stack the operations performed on stack are you know already data structure is nothing but collection of data 
and stored in an organized manner and we can perform some operations on those data items. So similarly here stack, stack for some data is there that we can store in the manner of last in first order. Now what are the operations performed? So there are two operations performed on stack data structure. One is push operation and another one is pop operation. So diagrammatically stack is represented like this. Like this you can insert the element, like this you can delete the element. Inserting is nothing but push operation. Deleting is nothing but pop operation. So this is stack data structure. Another linear data structure is Q data structure. Another linear data structure is Q data structure. Now what is a Q data structure? Q data structure is first in first out. First in first out. First in first out. That means first inserted element will come first. For example, uh, in daily life where we will uh, see this uh, queue data structure form uh, all ticket reservation counters. So for example, whenever we want to go to a movie, so uh, we want to buy a ticket, then so uh, in queue we have to stand. Who will take the ticket first? Who first enters into the queue? So that person will take the ticket and that per person will come out. So in daily life we can see this queue data structure the first in first out. So who enters first will come first out queue data structure. So then that means the elements are organized in FIFO manner first in first out manner. Now what are the operations performed on queue data structure? What are the operations performed on queue data structure? On queue data structure, we can perform like NQ operation. Here also two operations we can perform. NQ operation and DQ operation. So, and one more important point here it is. This queue data structure consisting of two ends. One is rear end, another one is front end. Rear end is nothing but rear end is nothing but inserting and whenever you want to insert an element then only at rear end you can insert. Whenever you want to delete an element only the element which is present at the front end only you can delete. So whereas in stack only one end is there that is top of the stack. So in Q data structure two ends are there rear end and front end. Diagrammatically, this Q is represented like this. This is inserting it and this is deleting it. So inserting end is called as rear end. Deleting end is called as front end. So now, what is NQ operation? NQ operation is nothing but inserting an element at rear end. Inserting an element at rear end is called as NQ operation. DQ operation means deleting an element present at front end is called DQ operation. Like that, so in a Q linear data structure, we can organize the elements in FIFO manner and it consists of two ends, rear end and front end, and the operations performed are NQ and DQ. Now, coming to another linear data structure that is link the list data structure link the list data structure see here the in the name itself it consisting of list here list means collection it is easy to remember collection of nodes and what is here link link means link between the nodes link or connection link or connection between the nodes. That's why the name here it is called as link list. So node means what? Generally 
consider this uh, list 20 30 40 then each element in linked list is represented in the form of a node like 20 30 40 is the last element so last element next node is null pointer this is called as null that means list is n there so for example this node address is 100 this node address is 200 this node address is 300 now here these addresses are stored here so 20 is what is 20 is next node 30 what is address of this node 300 so here 300 is present what is 30 is next 40 what is the address of that node 200 in this partition 200 will present and what is a 40 is next there is no node after 40 so which is the last node so then we can store the null pointer like that in linked list the elements are stored in linear fashion so these are some examples of linear data structures arrays stack data structure queue data structure and linked list data structure that's all about linear data structures hope you understand thank you students have a great day bye bye